is up everyone it is your guy Matt G here uh, and today we're gonna be covering a unique little detail well unique in my eyes uh, about Butcher Creek here and my horse is freaking out for whatever reason uh, as you can see we're right across from Butcher Creek um, now, as I'm pretty sure a lot of you know, uh, having played through the game, that a Butcher Creek, uh, the citizens of Butcher Creek, suffer from a sickness caused by, uh, what is it, lead and arsenic from the old mine up here. And if you've done the little mission for Butcher Creek, you learn that and you think that that's that, right? Well, I personally believe there's something more going on. For starters, I would hope a lot of you know that between the hours of 3 and 4 a.m., the... oh, which one is it? I believe it's this shack here has... The uh, pentagram underneath its underneath its floorboards that you can see during that hour. <laughs> but what also strikes me as odd is during that same time frame, and we'll get into this here in a moment. The citizens of Butcher Creek are nice to you. During the rest of the day, the moment you talk to them they get, you know, defensive. And if you stick around them, you know, the whole town will shoot you up. If you haven't really noticed this, well, we're about to go show that example right now. There's my girl. Oh. That was graceful. Alright, well anyway, let's go... I mean, we can just cross the water, I guess. I was gonna go find a bridge, but hey, we're right here. Oh, the bridge is right there. Oops. Oh well. But anyway... I also believe that they are definitely into some sort of rituals, because if you just walk around the place, there are bones everywhere. Like right there. And there. Let's not run this guy over. Now you would expect at least bones to be over there where the, you know, butcher is, right? But no, there's bones, like, almost everywhere in this place. Especially... Was it up around this cabin here, I believe? Yeah, this cabin here, the one that has bones literally on top of it. My horse looks delicious. That's Great. ominous. Thanks. John, I'm pretty sure that's not something you want to say thank you to. Now, you could say that this is just a place for skinning and whatnot, you know, hunting, but... A lot of these bones look like, you know, their own goat bones. I wouldn't doubt there's some human bones in here. Now, if this pile of bones doesn't convince you, <laughs> yeah. then um, let's go take a look over here. Oh yeah, 
yeah, you see that popping up. I last night just uh, discovered the last of the 30 dinosaur bones. That was an ordeal, but we did it. So yeah, if out of the way, don't you touch me. That right there is a human chest. I'm telling you, these people, something's going on here. And their little shed back here. I don't know if anyone's actually taken a look at this, but not only do you have blood going into or coming out of the shed, you have some folded up clothes there on the hay. And if you come around here to the little area you can actually get into, hanging rack for animals. But if it's a hanging rack for animals, what's it doing in the back side of a shed? A little hidden. And ominously enough, with a hammer and a saw sitting right by it. Yeah, if you ask me, these guys are, uh... Well, no other way to put it, really. I think these guys are the Murphy Brood. I mean, usually, you know... You have just random, like, one or two random locations that you can run into, you know, gang members or whatever, right? What if this is the main location for the Murphy Brood here in the Grizzlies? And New Hanover. Well, I guess Roanoke Ridge technically, not the Grizzlies, but yeah. Yeah, I have a feeling that uh, at least if not all, at least some are definitely the Murphy Brood. But in any case, let's, uh, let's get back into the example of their distaste for you during the day. Okay there, you some bitch. Yeah, see. Don't get so head up. They all just. They don't like you. Come on, girl. One more time. And it's not just one or two people, it's everybody. Now, I had thought at first it could just be a few people here hey. and there. Ass ride. That's enough now. And, uh, yeah, maybe a handful were nice to you, but last night there was like three or four people sitting here on this porch. And I rode through here at 3 a.m., talked to them, and they were nice to me. Turned around at 5 a.m., so two minutes real life. Didn't mean to bother you, ma'am. Yeah, two hours in game. People and their mood changed back to being nasty. So there's an example there for you that everyone is nasty. Oh, also real so quick. Uh, I forgot to mention this in the Van Horn video, but I was uh, unable to even keep the donkey hitched 
at my house, as soon as I hitched it up and went to get on another horse, it disappeared. Sad, I know. Alright. So, we will just sleep until nighttime here real quick. them about th three quote-unquote hours here so about three minutes and then we'll go across and yeah see if they are indeed nice to us while we're sitting here waiting uh, there's any other details that you've discovered that no one else really has feel free to comment down below or if you have your own thoughts about the citizens of Butcher's Creek and the Murphy Brood whether or not they're connected leave a comment as always leave that uh, like and take that two seconds to subscribe it really helps me out as you can see from the last video to this video we switched our horse back to our well, the main horse that I use. I don't even have Rachel broken in all the way. She is still at level 1 bonding, or level 2. The moment I had the chance, I went and got this beautiful thing right here. Couldn't do it without you, girl. If you don't know where to find the White Arabian, first of all, what are you doing with your life? <laughs> That's a joke. Uh, but the White Arabian is found... I believe it's up here... Along Spider Gorge going up towards the glacier. I think I found her, like, right around here. And the... Black... Was it the Black Amer American Standard? You know what? I don't even remember off the top of my head. Uh, but that one you can find along the Little Creek River. Uh, somewhere in this area, either between here or here where the horses spawn in. I don't know about you, but to me, two best horses in the game. less than a minute to go. We'll start making our way over there.
Also, something else to point out about Butcher Creek, if you've never noticed this before. Uh, again, I learned this from the strange man. Link to his channel in the donkey hunting video. But there are five outhouses that surround Butcher Creek. Each of them numbered and each, you know, and they make a star shape. Hello, girl. And if that isn't enough to convince you that something's going on with this place, if you guys remember the uh, Braithwaite secret, the quote unquote possessed girl yeah her little uh, outhouse here is actually angled to face Butcher Creek <laughs> so it's believed that though she may have just been mentally ill and had a cleft lip and whatnot, that there is indeed something deeper going on. There's just too many connections. Alright, so now it is 3.14 in the morning. folks doing? Good. Well, you take care now. Be seeing y'all again. Now look. You look like a nice person. Hmm. You see, hmm. they are... Well, have a good one then. Bye. Oh, I couldn't get a wink of shut eye the other night. Being when very friendly. Mean in my ears. Not immediately on the offensive goats I want to see if we can find a goat and see if they'll still ram us oh yep okay so the goats aren't oh god two of them okay let's get away from that uh, but yes here is the broken down shack or house. With the pentagram or pinnacle. However you want to view it. But yeah, during this time they are nice to you. Now it's four thirty, we might be past the time, but let's go see. Y'all good? Stupid man. It ain't that bad, okay? Oh, see? As soon as it passes four o'clock, their mood goes right back to being hateful. So whatever it is, during that minute or hour in game, they're nice to you. But as soon as it reaches past four o'clock, they're back to their old ways. Hey, fella. Ah. I see. Now this one's not too bad. You all right? Bad, but I ain't no afraid of cat. Things can turn around real quick. Bah. He kind of sounded like a goat there, didn't he? Bah. <laughs> ah, get up. Nice morning, huh, Mister? Sorry, I wanted to see you was alive. Dang. You take care now. 
Get on now. Okay, so it might have just been that one person that was hateful right away. Fellas? Good morning for it. Y'all having fun? Uh-huh. Not too much, I hope. Bye. All right. You some bitch. Let off that steam, all right? Yeah, see? Like I said, there, there's just something going on with these people. Sickness. In any case, that's going to do it for me, guys. I hope you all enjoy this video. Again, like, subscribe, leave a comment. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.